So Paul Heckingbottom suffers his first defeat since taking over the Sheffield United managerial post on a full-time basis. On a day, Rob Kozluk, where Premier League quality shone through, really. Yeah, I think that's the story of the game, wasn't it? The quality shone through at the end of the day, but uh, Sheffield United still had their, their chances and some positives to take from the time. Well, they did have some moments. Only 1-0 down at half-time, which gave them hope going into the second half. And... Uh, Sander Berger had a, a really good opportunity here. Good strike this. He's not too far away either, is he? That's a great uh, great chance to hit it, get your head down, and it's, uh, it's gone over. You can see uh, he had Ruddy dive into his left foot, so not a bad effort. And that was the midway point through the, the second half, and it wasn't long after that until Wolves really tightened their grip on the game. Nelson Semedo scoring this one. It's a good build-up play. Yeah, you recognised what Eki was thinking at half-time to uh, cut the supply through the central areas, but what happened is it isolated down the sides of, of Sheffield United and Dayton Ori gets a run on Bogle and uh, it's a decent ball across and, it, and it's, a, it's a composed finish from Semedo. It's a nice finish, that. Yeah, sticks it in the top corner and, and that was it really, wasn't it? That was the goal that Wolves were looking for to effectively finish the tie-off. Yeah, I think that that and the fact that Sheffield United haven't had the games for so long, it's a good it's a good one to get out of the game. You saw Sheffield United towards then getting it a little bit leggy, so uh, onto the championship now to uh, put a put a dress on that. That being said, at two 0 while ever Billy Sharp's on the pitch, there's always a chance that a goal might come. He was desperately unlucky in the first half to have a goal chalked off, and Ollie Burke on from the bench supplies the cross here. Good technique from Billy. Yeah, it's a great connection there from Billy. Uh, he's put uh, Burke on to get the pace down the sides. He's gone down there, he's whipped a ball in early, allows Billy to, to put his foot around it. It's a decent save. He's hit it probably too well. Yeah, and Jaden Bogle getting in key areas, as we've seen when he has started for Sheffield United, again showing his worth in an attacking sense. Yeah, Bogle on this occasion, he, he follows his pass, finds himself in there, doesn't he? I mean, it's, it's decision-making that do define Premiership to Championship there. Look at the three at the back stick, but I think any striker in that position where Bogle, they go for goal. Yeah, and it, re it really was done and dusted with 11 minutes to go. Pedence, who was, was excellent throughout, really, really impressed me today. Uh, takes it really well. Wes Fodringham probably won't want to see this again. Um, he ends up being stranded and Pedence, again, holds his nerve, w waits for his moment and sticks it away. Yeah, I think Fodringham comes out, and he either has to punch it out of play, but he, he realises, but he's made the mistake. But Podence, like his first goal, if you look here, how he reverses that into the bottom corner, he's got a lot to offer Podence. Yeah, good finish. And Jimenez later on as well. Might have made it four coming on from the bench. Not a bad swap to be able to make to bring a quality player on like this. But again, it's just over the top from Jimenez. But they're a good side. It's a good save, actually, from Fodderingham, that. They're a good side, aren't they? They're an excellent side, and I think Gagey spoke about when you put a side out like this in the cup, they can go a long way if they apply themselves in the right manner. So, yeah, you've gone out today to a Wolves side, but at the same day, you've had chances. Yeah, what positives do you take? Is it, is it the fact that you have been able to create chances against top-quality opposition like that? You have created the chances, haven't you? But at the, at the same time... If you say in the other oh, top eight Premiership side, uh, you probably had a spell in the game to get back into it. It's decent. So back to the league action. The Championship returns next Saturday. Um, Derby County, one of your old clubs who've enjoyed a resurgence under Wayne Rooney. Um, that's going to be a, a tricky one, isn't it, for Sheffield United? Yeah, if they apply themselves and go to Pride Park, uh, yeah, Rooney's got them firing and that, but I don't see uh, any problems on the day if, if Sheffield United set the stall out right. We shall see you can, of course, follow that game with us next Saturday, but today Sheffield United bow out of the FA Cup, beating 3-0 at Wolves. To Rob Coslett, Kevin Gage, Matt Young and the rest of the team here, it's goodbye for now.